Hi, Sycamore. We're John and Lynn Lane, serving with Greater Europe Mission in Dubrovnik, Croatia, involved in church planting and working alongside of national church planters for the spread of the gospel in this region. At the beginning of the spreading of the virus of COVID-19 in mid-March, Croatia shut its borders. Uh, they put in place strict um, restrictions of travel throughout the country. No one was able to go out of their county. Um, and it was about a six week period that this lasted and Croatia experienced very few cases. They began to open the, uh, the, the travel restrictions uh, throughout the country and, um, and, and things now uh, are, are almost back to normal. During the time that there were strict restrictions in place, we, um, we met online as a church and we have continued to do this so that we can offer the services of our church to the aged, um, shut-ins, and others who still do not want to go out into public gatherings. The virus has caused um, an economic crisis in the country. Um, many people, because the economy is um, dependent on tourism, many have not uh, gotten jobs for the summer. Some have lost jobs or that their pay has been cut. And so this is, this is causing um, a lot of stress around the country, especially in our area. We will lose seven people this summer from the church who have gone, who will go to other places to find jobs. And there's one other family who is considering this as well. Please pray for us as the leadership of the church to have wisdom in knowing how to meet the financial needs of the people in the church and how to encourage them in these, uh, these difficult days ahead that could at last for up to a year until the tourist industry begins to pick up again. On a positive note, uh, one of our teenagers early uh, this year, actually at the end of last year, became a Christian. She gave her life to Christ. And um, so she and two other people uh, will most likely become uh, members of our ch church at the end of the summer, beginning of the fall. Pray for them, for their growth and for spiritual growth and that they would uh, be a bright light for Christ in their workplace, uh, at home, and, um, and in their neighborhoods. Please pray for me as well. I'd, in, I'd really like to get out and visit the other pastors in our county. There are still some travel restrictions in place. Um, pray for phone calls and visits in the near future that I would be an encouragement to these pastors around the country. We also appreciate your prayers for the Hope for the Wounded ministry, um, which is a ministry to people who've experienced trauma or abuse. And we're seeing God use that uh, both in Dubrovnik and throughout the country to bring real healing. And we're thankful for the 11 leaders that are now trained to lead small groups throughout the country. So we ask that you would continue to pray for this ministry. We want to thank you. Actually, we want to thank the Lord first and then you, Sycamore, for being a part of our ministry now for over 28 years. Thank you for your encouragement during the times we have visited your church in, in the past. Thank you as well for visits from some of your members, and uh, thank you as well for your prayers and your financial support. So we want to say bye from Dubrovnik.